Hello everyone. Um, I'm back yet again. I haven't updated my uh, channel in a while and I thought why not do a video now. Um, if you couldn't tell by that in the title up here, uh, that was All of My Lovin' by The Beatles. Um, great song. I love this song. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do some more videos here, get some more views. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand video views on my whole channel combined of all of them, which is pretty great considering um, I just started this channel like two months ago and I uh, just started doing these tutorials and all that good stuff. So um, let's get right into this lesson here and uh, I'll get get to teaching, I guess. Uh, all right. Sorry. Just got to move you guys. Now... If you have heard the song before, which I'm sure if you're trying to learn it, you have heard it before, you know that it starts off with um, no chord, no no music, no nothing, no guitar, guitar, excuse me, I don't know why I said guitar, but no guitar, and um, with just the words, close your eyes. Now when you say eyes, you're going to come screaming in with this uh, F sharp major. And that is basically, you know you have an F chord down here, bar the first fret, um, middle fingers, second fret of the G, pinky finger, third fret of the D, and ring finger, third fret of the A. That's an F. F minor, remove your middle finger, slide it up a half step for sharp, there's F sharp minor. That's your first chord for the song. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. We're going to go to B after that. So, the key words here are close your eyes and kiss. And if you don't know what a B chord is, bar the second fret. And then bar the G, or excuse me, the D, G, and B strings with your ring finger here. That's a B chord. So we've got F sharp minor, kiss you, B, E, tomorrow I'll C sharp minor, miss you. Now the way the book chose it, um, this E chord is basically, um, you can just play it a bar chord if you want to, but uh, it's uh, on the... Uh, high E string, your middle finger, basically the D chord up to the 4th fret here. So it's going to be 4th uh, fret with your middle finger on the E string, ring finger, 5th uh, fret on the uh, B index, 4th fret on the G, and then um, you're going to have the 6th fret on the D with your pinky. Wait a minute, am I right? That's how the book has you play it. Or you could just do this open E down here, this open chord. Index on the uh, first of the G, and then ring finger second of the D, and middle finger second of the A. Or up here. I play it down here just because it's uh, it's more familiar to me. I'm used to playing it that way. Um, entirely up to you. You can use either one, but the book has it played up here because the next chord is going to be in a C sharp minor. Now, if you know anything about bar chords, you'll know that this is a C bar. Basically, your B slid up a half step. C minor is going to be uh, this A minor shape, kind of, from down here. The first of the uh, B with your index, your ring finger on the second of the G, and then your middle finger on the um, second of the A, D, sorry, D. That's an A minor. Slide it up, up to here, or no, up to here. 
That's C minor. C minor sharp, or C sharp minor. Up another half step. So it's basically going to be this bar chord, kind of like you would for a G down here on the third fret, but down you move your whole arrangement of these three fingers down and then up a half step. That's C sharp major, or C sharp minor, sorry. So what do we got so far? Um, close your F sharp minor and I'll be you. E, I'll C sharp minor. And we're gonna go to an A chord, which is just the second fret on these three strings, the uh, D, G, and B strings, second fret on those. Or you could play it up here with this E shape, E, and then bar the fifth fret. I play it here sometimes, I play it here sometimes, it just depends on what, how I want to do it, I don't know, I don't really have a set method yet, I haven't played it that much to decide, but either or, it doesn't matter. Um, the book has it up here on the fifth fret, just to let you know, but um, so that's that's when we go into the remember re a al f sharp minor b d that second fret third fret second fret on the lower strings be true and then no words here but we're going to do a b7 or you can do this b7 the book has this b7 which is um the second fret on the e open B, second fret on the G, first fret with your index on the uh, D, second fret with your middle finger on the A. That's the B7 chord they use. That's in a lot of Beatles songs, actually. Um, or you can do B7 like this. You'd have your B chord here. And if you know anything about B chords, or bar chords, I mean, um, you'll know that if it's like this kind of bar chord, a B bar chord, all you have to do is uh, not bar this with your ring finger. And if you can see what I'm doing here, get in really close. This string and this string. Not going to fret this one with these, with these up here on the sixth string. This one's just going to be on the whatever fret you're barring it on. There, that's the one. So, just kind of remove that middle uh, fret and you'll have a seven chord. So that's the B7 I use a lot because you're doing going from bar chord to bar chord in this song and then all of a sudden you have this open chord down here, especially such an awkward one that uh, takes a lot of getting used to. It's sometimes better just to go to an open bar chord. Sorry, wrong one. There we go. And that's just what I do. So, basically we have the whole close your eyes and I'll kiss you, tomorrow I'll miss you, remember I'll always be true part down. And then there's two of those little parts to the whole verse. And, um, Let's just go over this really quick. F minor, sharp, B, tomorrow, E, C major, sh or C sharp minor, miss you, A, I'll F sharp minor, B, D, B7, and then F sharp minor, I'm a B. All right, E, every C sharp minor, and I'll A all my B to E. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. Oh, I fucked it up, but tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember, I'll always be true. 
then you repeat it one more time. But on the last line, it's going to be, I'll send all my love unto you, instead of remember I'll always be true. Instead of going A, F minor, F sharp minor, D, we're going to go A, B, E. That's the only difference. So the last, the whole first verse is going to be F sharp minor, B, E, C sharp minor, um, A, sorry, F sharp minor, D, B7, F sharp minor, B, E, C sharp minor, A, B, E. And then we've got another verse, and that just repeats for another time. So basically, um, that's the that's the main main part of the song that everyone recognizes and apparently loves. But um, then we have the chorus, the "All My Lovin'" part. Now, this is a little uh, I won't say tricky because it's pretty much. You could, if you wanted to, it starts out on a C sharp mi minor. All my loving. And then when it goes to I will send to you, we'll go to a C augment, uh, something like that. C A U G. I can't remember what that stands for. But then that's on the fourth fret here, index, fifth fret of the. Uh, G and B strings, and then the um, sixth fret of the D. You can hear there's a difference. C minor, C sharp minor, um, and then C A U G. And then to an E. But you could just play all my love and I will send to you my love and darling I'll be true. But the point is you've got the C major sharp C minor sharp and then it's just a little switch to um C A U G all my love, I will send to you. All my love, darling, I'll be true. I personally would just stick with C sharp minor that whole first part, but it's entirely up to you. I mean, it's just easier if you don't want to go through that switch or learn the. Just, it's kind of a little technical part and it's since it's so small and it's all concentrated in this area um, it might be easier just to do it that way instead of having to get the precision down for that but it's up to you um, it'll certainly sound fine either way so and then after that first chorus um, we have the solo part and the solo well I'm not going to teach you the solo in this video. Um, if I can, if I learn it and I want to teach it, I will do it in a different one. But basically, the solo is uh, two measures, two measures of four beats with A7, E, E, B7, B7, E, E. So that A7 chord is basically just bar the whole second fret and then the third fret on the high E.
and then B7, however you want to play it. And then back into close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow, I'll miss you, and so on and so forth and all that good stuff. Um, that's about all there is to that song. Um, it goes verse, verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus. The last chorus is a bit of a different case. I mean, it's still got the all my lovin' I will send to you. So it's still got the that little change I told you about. Then to E. Then back to C minor, sharp, C A U G, E. Then we're gonna go on to all my lovin'. All my lovin'. And then E. Oh my C sharp minor, I will send to E. Back to that. It's kind of the closing thing. So it just follows the same principle I put through that chorus in the beginning. Just C minor sharp to E. All oh my loving, I will send to you. All oh my loving. Darling, I'll be true. And then you've got the part where, of course, Paul McCartney always sings, All oh, my loving. And then he gets his screaming in there. Um, that's basically what that part is for. If you've listened to the record before, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'm not sure why you're here now trying to learn the song. Go listen to it first before you try and learn how to play it. Um, trust me, it'll help you out a lot. And uh, especially if you don't know the song, because learning to play a song you don't know is just kind of a fool's mission. It's not going to go well for you. But uh, I've got a little time here just to recap everything. The verse is F sharp minor, B, E, C sharp minor, A, F sharp minor, D, B7, F sharp minor, B, E, C sharp minor, A, B, E. The first chorus is C sharp minor, that's C A U G, to E. And then it repeats that part. And once again, the solo, A7, 1, 2, 3, 4, E, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, B7, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, E, 3, 4, F sharp minor, and back into the first there. Um, well, I'm done here. Um, that's all I got to teach on this one. Um, if you couldn't tell, I stuck with the Canes guitar here. Um, I haven't been really playing my acoustic all that much, and I picked it up today and tried to play it, and I, oh man, it just bugged the crap out of me. I need to start playing it more and get used to it. But um, for now, I'll just be playing on this, just because it's easier for me. I'm used to it. It's basically the one I play a lot more often. So um, that's about all I have for you guys. If you like my videos or whatever, subscribe, comment, um, you know, just let me know if I'm doing a good job or if I need to change anything. Um, I'm trying to help people out there and I'm not going to get nitpicky if someone, or all pissy or whatever, if someone says I'm doing something wrong, I will be open for suggestions. Um, I'm still taking song requests. I've got a few that I need to do, but I have gotten lazy on them and I haven't even listened to the songs yet. I apologize, Bean. Um, you know who you are if you've requested that. But uh, I'll get to it eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Soon. I don't know. I will. For sure. I will. I will try. I will do my best. Um, yeah, that's about all I have. Excuse me. I'm tired. Long day. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, 
by that time I think we'll have broken 700 views or so so that's a pretty big thing to me and um, I might have a special treat for you guys at 1,000 views not gonna say what it is but uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cool so uh, see you next time bye